Hey y'all, welcome into the channel. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Let's go ahead and get into your ancestor messages. All right, you guys bear with me. I'm still a little fatigued and um, low on energy a little bit. Excuse me, I'm recovering from something upper respiratory. Okay, so bear with me as I bring this message. Hopefully I don't start coughing or nothing like that. If I get too weak, I'll have to pick these up later. But I wanted to try and get some of these messages out, at least what I have for now, and uh, make sure I get these messages to you guys. Okay, so the divine says, seated at the table will be the title of this reading for your ancestor messages. Seated at the table. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Most high, Father God, for clear and precise messages for my viewers. Seated at the table. Thank you, angels and Father God, for showing me what it is that my viewers need to hear and see. Seated at the table. God is choosing to honor you, okay? Um, because of others, you can now, or they can now, because of you, excuse me, not because of others, but because of you, others can now walk down a path to the divine that was previously restricted, okay? So I mentioned in the Mother Isis read that that energy was coming. I didn't know if I had already did the reading. I couldn't remember, um, but here it is. I know I'd already wrote the notes, and sometimes when I have notes written and I haven't recorded the reading, I'm like, did I do that yet? Did I already do that? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so here it is. Okay. Um, if you haven't checked out the Mother Isis read, you may want to check that reading out prior to watching this one. Okay. Because I feel like they're going to go hand in hand. All right. Thank you, ancestors. What messages do you have for my viewers? For the new viewer that just walked in, thank you so much for viewing this channel. If this is your first time, I hope that you make yourself comfortable here. Um, and for those of you that have returned, okay, welcome back. So we have back to basics, simplify, reduce, and center. So grounding your energy, grounding it on out is going to be very important at this time. Um, there's something new that you're going to be assessing or learning, um, exploring is the word I'm hearing very strongly, okay? Um, but because of you, others can now walk down a path to God that was previously restricted. Wow, here's a path, okay? And it's confirming here what we're talking about. There's this path that it's like you've already walked down this path and you're guiding others down this path. And it's because of you that people can walk down this path. I feel like whoever you are, um, you could have been a black sheep of the family or you just did something that your family members or other friends or whoever you're surrounding yourself with, they may have not been, they may have not done, okay? Um, maybe out of fear or just um, out of fear of the unknown or just a lack of understanding or whatever the case is. Maybe even a lack of desire. Maybe they didn't want to, okay? But something about you has been, been, been bold. It's been courageous, okay? And um, because of that, people can get to the Father, okay? Um, maybe they have a better understanding of who the father is and, and what he intends and, and purposes to do in your life, like what his intention and purpose is for you. Um, I feel like you've expressed that or explained that in a way that's more understandable. Um, for some of you, you have a unique teaching style. For some of you guys, you have this way about you where people can actually learn from you. Whoever you are, I see you as being very wise, okay? Um, fearless, okay, and very courageous. God said, confirmation, God said, due to your bravery, people that you don't know, okay, will begin to show up and give to you, okay? So there's people, there's strangers. They're strangers to you because you don't know them. But I feel like it's the fact that you don't know the impact that you've had on their lives. You don't know um, how you've helped somebody through a kind word, a kind gesture, or something that you've explained, or something that you visited. Um, it's a vibe where these people, they know you though, okay? Laugh and have fun. I feel like people know you, okay? Smile, positive energy and joyfulness. They know you for your smile. They know you for your positive energy. They know you for your joyfulness, okay? Um, and I feel like there's some people that 
um, that you don't know who will begin to show up and give to you. People that are going to begin to show up and support you or be in support of you, okay? I feel like this is going to be new territory for you for because whoever you are here, um, you're used to doing things on your own. You're used to being very independent. You're used to being, like I said, maybe the black sheep of the family or you're the star seed who just stands out and maybe you offend people because you stand out and you're used to people kind of distancing themselves from you. People could fear you or just misunderstand you. You could be misunderstood, but it's a vibe where all of a sudden I feel like people are going to be rallying around you because there's a level of understanding um there's a level that has been graduated from it's like a vibe where people are like oh okay i get it this person is not to be feared this person is actually to be supported they've supported us they are somebody who is a helper of the community not somebody who wants to tear us down people are seeing you as someone who wants to build up, who wants to expand, who wants to help them be better, who wants to see them do better um, and is not in fear of, of them doing better than you or or you doing better than them. It's a vibe where you're like, I want everybody to do good. I want to see everybody happy. I want to see everybody fulfilled. I want to see everybody healed. And something that you've done in your alone time has actually been seen by others, recognized by others, used by others, taken on by others. And now they it's like they want to come back to you to give because they know that you've been this supporter. They know that it's like if you hadn't have showed them the ropes, if you hadn't explained this to them, if you hadn't have taken the time out to um, do your own healing, then they wouldn't have been able to find a way to heal. Maybe you, you, you just have this way for somebody, you just have this way of breaking down information or digesting information that makes it more understandable or more relatable um, to others, okay? So there's somebody that you have assisted in finding their freedom in many forms, in whatever form, in whatever way. But it's a vibe where they, you're going to start to see people come back and give to you now. Like now that they've made it out or now that they've made it through, you're going to see people come towards you and want to give you, give to you, okay? Whether this is just giving back laughter, giving back the spirit of joy, giving back that positive energy, sending you a kind smile, saying a kind word. You're, it's like, this is like, a, I feel like you paid it forward and now like that paying it forward energy is about to come back and come back around and bless you. For some, you could have really, very literally paid it forward, okay? Look, be thankful. Gratitude, appreciation, harmony. Yeah, somebody wants to show you some type of gratitude or appreciation for some way that you've helped them. You could have returned. You know, there's a card I have and it says that you are um, fixing people's smiles, okay? So maybe there was somebody who was facing uh, depression, feeling down and out, feeling like, you know, even suicidal, feeling like they wanted to give up, okay? I'm hearing that song, I almost gave up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know the name of it, I'm sorry, and I don't know the artist, but shout out to that artist, okay? Um, but it's that type of a vibe. Somebody could have been in a mighty low space, okay? And then here you come, with all this joy and this laughter, this wisdom, this sacred knowledge and sacred understanding and the ability to actually explain without making people feel small and really connect and relate because everything that you explain or everything that you teach about, you're speaking from a place of your testimony. It's things that you have been through. The other day, you guys, yesterday, I think it was, I was in the bathroom and I was just like, man, everything that I've gone through, like it's a testimony for me. People may think, oh, you haven't been through nothing because they don't know you. They don't know what you've overcome. They don't know the hills and the mountains that you've climbed. They don't know the obstacles and the hurdles that you've jumped. But it's a vibe where you do. And because you do, you're able to then come back and share that story as a success story. Share that story from a perspective or point of view of you can get out. And I feel like you are showing people like you don't have to live your life miserable. You don't have to live your life feeling this way. You can let go of those regrets. You can let go of those 
uh, those ill feelings. You can let go of that fear. You can let go of that trauma. You can let go of that drama. You can be released and free from it. You can detach and it's okay to detach. And then in detaching, you're actually doing yourself a solid. You're doing yourself a favor. I feel like somebody out there got that message from you and whoever this is that is wanting to come back around and give to you. That's what they want to tell you. They appreciate you. They have a, a heart of full of gratitude for you. You've been an uplifter. You've encouraged somebody. You've motivated somebody. You inspired somebody to keep going, to not give up, that the energy will shift. I've told you guys before, it takes two weeks and you'll see the energy change. Okay? Enjoy music. Your ancestors want you to enjoy music at this time. Instruments, sound, and tone. There's something that you're going to learn through the enjoyment of music. When you learn this, you're going to laugh. It's going to bring you to a place of laughter because you're going to be like, oh my God, this was there all along. You're going to then give thanks. It's like you paid it forward. You've had the heart of, of the energy of gratitude and appreciation. You've paid it forward to the divine and you've been a blessing to others. And now it's all coming back around for you. It's all coming back around for you. By way of somebody that you bless. That's why they say, be careful. Be careful how you handle people. Be careful how you speak on people's circumstances and situations. Be careful because you never know whose hand you may need. You never know what you may need. You never know who has what you may need. Thank you, ancestors, for clearing precise messages. So you help somebody find some type of freedom. Freedom of the mind, freedom of the heart, freedom in the physical. Somebody could have been in a bad relationship, an abusive relationship. They heard your story. They're like, oh, this person's been in an abusive relationship. This person overcame. This person found love again. Maybe I can too. Oh, this person's been down and out. This person's lost everything and came back up. Maybe I can too. Spirit guides, insight, guidance, and purpose. Everything that you went through, viewers, you went through so that you can help somebody else come back up. So that you can lead the way. So that you can be able to be a guidance or a guide, a guiding light for somebody else. Spirit has been guiding you. You're following Spirit's lead. And it's a vibe where people could be following your lead. But in following you, they're actually following God because it's the God in you that's leading you where you've gone. That's allowed you to overcome. That's allowed you to grow and be better and mature. The bottom of the deck, we have go after your goals. Persist, encourage, and advance. This, this, is, this is the life of the warriors here. Seated at the table. So at the table, your cup is going to run over. Your head is going to be anointed with oil. Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you won't fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I was to say, prepare us a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. This is the Lord's prayer energy. Your cup is running over so that you can continue to work in your purpose. So you can persist, so you can encourage, so you can advance. As you advance, as you persist, and as you're encouraged, you're encouraging others. It's like this big old, I don't know, it's just a, it's a, I don't know if it's a clock or it's a wheel or it's something where it's just, it's, it's moving around, it's spinning around. And you're at the top of it and it keeps its wheel. This is Wheel of Fortune energy. You're going to receive some guidance through some sort of tone, sound, or instrument. I feel like you're about to go even higher in consciousness, in understanding, in cosmic knowledge.
Your ancestors want you to laugh and have fun and be thankful. Be thankful for this opportunity. Be thankful that you are this warrior and that you are being led. For somebody out here, you're in the front, you're out in the front. How they say, you're on the front line. The energy of Shango is here. The energy of Leo is here. The energy of your indigenous bloodline is here. The energy of Kuan Yin is here. Your she, your chi, your aura. This is this is this is the Trinity energy. Ground your energy. The color red is very significant. Red speaks to your root chakra. Clear and ground. Listen to meditation music that helps you clear and ground your root. For somebody here, you're about to receive a root chakra activation. God is going to give you an understanding where you know that you know that you're in the right place, the right time, the right era, that you're doing what it is that you are called and supposed to be doing. Sagittarius is significant. The bow and arrow is out here. They have bows and arrows in their packs. Something about your clear audience ability. It's a good time right now to sage your home. Be thankful for the health of your heart. There's something God is going to reveal to you through a song. There's a message for somebody here, a coded message in a song, in the lyrics of a song. So pay attention. I feel like God is going to talk to you through a, a song for somebody out there. He's going to talk to you through music. You're going to know what your next, your next move is. Continue to honor your body. Honor what it is your body is asking, telling you to do, needing from you. Honor that request. I know sometimes we can get so busy in life that we tend to like put ourselves on the back burner. But God is calling for you to put yourself in the front. Y'all, this has been your read. I'll check you guys next time. Bye.